Nation. So, I'm behind on the releases, even though it was a week ago where eight re releases happened. I was in Montreal all the time, so I didn't get to talk about that, but I've been leaning in the game. So you all know who those eight releases are. So like Alex Riley, Wade Barrett was not one of them, but his contract expired, he's not coming back. Hornswoggle, I was surprised that he lasted this long. Uh, uh, Dutch Mantel, aka Zeb Coulter, and a bunch of other people. Oh, El Torito, I don't know why the fuck he was there for so long. But yeah, those eight releases, now there's two more. Wait, okay, one official release and another, I'm gonna say it like this, release, I'll let you know why. The first official release, Brooklyn Brawler. That's quite surprising. I'm surprised Brooklyn Brawler got released. I seriously thought he would be there for life because he's a backstage guy doing stuff left and right. He's been there for a long time. Very dedicated employee. And it's the Brooklyn Brawler. I never thought he would ever get released. But hey, that's life. Everybody winds up getting released. Anyone who's not a McMahon, except, okay, Shane McMahon left and came back. But yeah, anybody who's not a McMahon doesn't get released. Yeah, like I said, it's life. Anywhere you go to work, you'll wind up leaving or get released or let go. Bro Brooklyn Brawler! Yeah, that was surprising. Even though he's not the best technical wrestler, he was good to look at. Well, not good to look at. He was entertaining to watch. Him doing his Dwight Clown and uh, Kimchi, I believe he was. And Abe Knuckleball Schwartz, which was really, really weird. But he's mostly known as Dwight the Clown or Brooklyn Brawler. And let's not forget his win against Triple H on SmackDown, I think it was a long time ago. But yeah, Brooklyn Brawler is officially gone. May he do something else, probably go to Ring of Honor, be an agent, or TNA, because why not? They need something there to let them live, even though they're almost dead all the time. But we've been saying TNA's been dead for like the last nine years. Who knows when they are, they'll actually die. Okay, so the next release is Christian, but here's the thing. He was released from his performer's contract. What does that mean? He's no longer wrestling at all. But he's still technically employed by the company in backstage stuff doing Edge and Christian show is Edge. So he's still employed with the company but not as a wrestler. So he's just doing his show with Edge and Christian. I'm not surprised by this because Christian hasn't been doing anything lately. So yeah, why not release him from his performance contract? Yeah, Ed Sands Vince McMahon never did like him. This is not surprising. And any day now, probably down the road when their Edge and Christian show is over and they don't have any more use for them, they'll let Christian go because there's no point in having him around since they really, really don't do well with him in WWE. He has been shafted so many times. Have you heard that story where like, Vince McMahon wanted to put a blue dot over his face because he didn't like his face, but he was talked out of it because he can't do that. But Vince McMahon was willing to put a blue dot over Christian's face anytime he was on screen because he didn't like his face. Now I feel sorry for Tyler Breeze because Vince McMahon doesn't like Tyler Breeze even though Tyler Breeze is entertaining as fuck. But yeah, what Vince McMahon doesn't like, he doesn't like. So yeah, those are the two releases that happened along with the other eight plus the guy plus Wade Barrett leaving because his contract expired. But yeah, what do you guys think of these two releases? Did you see this coming or are you really not surprised? Alright, take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye.